That's fucking nuts. It is. My buddy Jeff, he's got. <laughs> Working his way up. I see it. I'm sitting on a skinny bridge, right shoulders, about a foot. Just creeping along. Go get him! That is so awesome that we get right of way. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, downhill, I definitely know that you'd want to do that because there's no way in hell you're going to stop this thing fast enough. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Anyone who hits this thing is fucking dead. Or anyone who gets hit by this thing is fucking dead. Now, see, we don't talk like that because that's bad for me. Oh, yeah, yeah, I can see why. You ain't gonna hit nobody. No, no, no one's gonna get hit. <laughs> Unless they pull Like out. I said, I'm really surprised they let him go with a fucking air leak. And then the cocksucker walked up to the other fucking connections there, put his hand, oh, you're an air leak here. You know what, dude? You just have no idea the vibration it causes on vehicles and shit loosens up and you know I mean let's get real here yeah oh here's the challenger awesome they gave the state they gave the state of Connecticut's finest for this they honestly gave them you the never know who you're gonna get like the other night I had two girls it was just two of us. Two girls, that's all. We didn't need five of them. Just one in the front, one in the back. They didn't have to shut everybody off. Yeah. But you never know who's going to show up. These guys are the real... I mean, these guys are the... I mean, they say their specialty is just traffic, but they're humble. They don't give them that kind of cars for just traffic. They're heavy interceptors. These are the guys that stop people in fucking uh, Aston Martin. I know, when you're 90. doing fucking 87 miles an hour. Up on this the is the people who pull you over. And yeah. then these are the people that are also going to tell you, this is not... I think my ex-girlfriend got pulled over by one of these guys. I swear to God. Hey, there you go. See this? That's working up. And this is where it kind of gets squirrely. And if you got a load that is traveling along at normal speed, you want to get up there ahead of time, especially if your load is wide, mm -hmm. and say, okay, you got a box truck coming your way. You know, you got two fours coming your way. Because, you know, he's got to go over a little bit because he's wide. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking cop. <laughs> was he revving yeah. it? No, I'm just fucking thinking to myself, if we're, if we're going to have cops in Massachusetts, it ain't going to be in the left-hand lane, go like a fucking bat out of hell. <laughs> they might they might grab the left lane, though, and just fucking let everybody go around us on the right. I've seen that happen. Before. I've seen some Massachusetts cops that are just OGs, honestly. Stop, it's clear. Yep. Uh, now we go down the hill. Oh my god. Yeah, 8%. Are you shitting me? 8% downgrade. <laughs> we gonna fucking die. Uh, and metaphorically speaking, not literally. Whatever you need, nothing coming. Because those brakes are gonna be... How long is it for... Cop coming up. How, how long is that slope hold out for? Oh, the second cop. Is he the sign? This is 8% grade, but how long does it hold out? Oh. Four miles. Jeez. Right not to where we're going to smell these fucking brakes, I'll tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> I'll put money on it. Wow. That thing is heavy. He's got his Jake on. baby down. <laughs> He's got the Jake on. <laughs> trying to find the right gear that'll hold. This one's kind of half holding. <laughs> Say it's 12% incline down here. Got two foot shoulders, so all these fours are stopped. 
And the wrap go down nice and slow and I smoke the brakes all the way down. Yeah, I hear you. <laughs> this guy's like, what the hell? There's an auction over here that I go to every now and then. Davis Auctions. They have cars, equipment, all kinds of stuff. That's it. I'm trying to fucking find a gear that'll hold it. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, you got one. Is this the second one? And that's the sign that says it up here. <laughs> oh gosh. Test your patience. <laughs> I hear it. Wood stoves out of Tennessee one time. Mm -hmm. out, of blue, down out, of, out of the Blue Ridge Mountains. I'm coming down a hill like this and I'm fucking hitting the brakes, hitting the brakes. And all of a sudden I heard pop and both buttons popped out because I was out of fucking air and I was still fucking rolling down the fucking road. Oh my god. This is good. 18 they coming our way. Stopped. 18 coming our way and a bunch of four wheelers. <laughs> good thing he ain't wide. Be a bad place to be set. I smell them. You do? Yeah. Man, it's like six graves of my bicycle all over again. Oh yeah. Now I catch my foot. That's a lot. And every single axle's got an air drum on it, right? Or, or multiple air drums. Every tire's got a fucking brake. Thirteen. 13 times 2, that's crazy. But, you know as well as I do. Brakes are only good. One four wheeler coming up. Brakes are only good as, as long as they're, in the, you know, adjusted correctly. Yeah. 
<laughs> I'm surprised they didn't get underneath to start measuring that shit. Yeah. I've been fucking tagged where I had to crawl underneath there and adjust them up so the guy would let me go. But now every day is fucking self-adjusting. Yeah. But that, that only works in backwards, though. You gotta go you know, backwards and fucking hit the brakes all the time. I don't like this myself. So, two weeks ago I had a run. And I'm up here on 691. Oh, the fucking guy hit the fucking bridge. <coughs> so we fucking pulled over. I pulled over, I hit the fucking brakes, my fucking brake went right to the fucking floor. Shit, fucking cool brake line. What the fuck? I gotta finish this fucking run. So all the way from 691, all the way down to fucking West Greenwich, Rhode Island, I'm running on what's left of the fucking, you know, the front brakes and my fucking emergency brake. <laughs> hey man, uh, the emergency it, brake was goes to the real wheels. Yeah, I think only once working pretty good back there though because every time I yank it the car would like shit <laughs> it's a cable line system that's why Six at the bottom and it looks to the right 63 fucking clear yeah little skinny bridge to the bottom I wonder if the fucking camper's still here little skinny bridge big time ooh <laughs> Pretty sure only one of these can go on there at a time. I'll tell you what, this smoke's better than the it was gonna. Yeah, same. I only smelt it for when he was using it extensively for like a good like minute or two. The lane to come out of. it all off. Here we come. <laughs> there's a little Jeep right here. Uh, pardon me? Oh, there's a Jeep that's going to pull into the gas station. He's like, yeah, I don't think I'm going to do that. Let me go around. You know what the funny thing is? We're going to take this to 84, okay? Mm-hmm. And then we're going to take 691 over to 91. When Route 70 right over here mm -hmm. runs right over to 91. <laughs> wow. Cop coming up. Route 70, like maybe. They're most of the way. I'm going to say maybe 10 miles going that way will run into 91. Okay. But Trails on the right down here. There is. A very old, old bridge that goes over Route 5 mm -hmm. that, you know, that's why we can't go that way. Gotcha. Come on, I need a fuck of coffee, man. <laughs> Every single hill. This thing is... I never thought once in my life something would be worse at climbing hills than my Volkswagen is. <laughs> Your Volkswagen a standard? I wish, unfortunately. It's got no. a DSG. It's basically okay. a computerized stick shift. Okay. I, because of German engineering. I don't think you'd want to stick shift and try to do the microphone and... You know, a lot of times on the way home from wherever you gotta go, man, it's bumper to bumper to traffic. Hey, that's just, I, I did that with the stick shift, um... I mean, it, it comes natural. I've ran stick, you know, sticks for years, but... Yeah, but eventually you start to smell the clutch burning if oh, it's yeah, that no, bad. Oh, yeah, no doubt about it. You know, it's just... The only good thing about a good stick shift, man, is in the winter time, you can usually drop yourself out of where you gotta go. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, the Volkswagen, because it's a computerized stick shift, basically. I had, had an ad in the paper one time. I remember there was a rare reminder. They had a section where uh, point we're up at 45. 
I think that's the fastest we've ever gone. I'm I gonna think go maybe. Nine and a half miles an hour. Dude, I could bike faster than, I could run faster <laughs> than this. I know I can run faster curve, than this. Three vehicles yep. on the left side stopped. Yep, pretty skinny with the guardrails up here on the right. Oof. People looking out the windows, oh, what are all the lights for? They're in for a treat. The cop goes by, they start rolling. I don't even know why they're stopped because it ain't even wide. <laughs> oh, they see all this commotion. It definitely yep. Yep. kind of strikes some fear what in them. Is, what, what is this? Yeah. I like it with the pools. You know? Yeah. I hear that clutch fan really working itself. That thing's running hot now. You can hear that fan? Oh, yeah. It's screaming right now. He's got that thing running in at least three grand. I can't hear that thing. Don't fucking worry. I just heard it kick on. It's still on. All right, it's coming on and off. It's like sort of in between. Oh, it'll, yeah, it's it's yeah. probably a mechanical clutch. It's probably what it is. That's why it keeps they on. They usually are. I mean, they fucking usually give a good little squeal when they come up with a belt there. and Yeah. There's a kick on, and then you can watch the fucking temperature gauge go down. Dramatically, it's it's it's. What cool. I want to know is the fucking pyrometer. What's that read? <laughs> if the truck has a pyrometer. What's a pyrometer? The pyrometer just... tells you the inside temperature of the walls. Okay. The cylinder walls. That's cool. Yeah, it is. That tells you exactly if your motors are going to blow up or not. Yeah, you start climbing the hill, you can watch that fucking gauge go right up, boy. Yeah, it's all combustion just kind of building up and not really going anywhere efficiently. Yeah. Yeah, there it goes. There's the clutch. It just disengaged, and that fan is spinning directly with the shaft now. It's screaming. Probably going to want to stay in the left lane here to make the right hand turn. Ah, you just figured that out. He's got it at like one and a half grand right now. Those Cummins X15s, though, they love that range, though. They're very wide. I mean, yeah. most diesels are, but they go all the way from five all the yep. way up, and they keep going. Yep. That's their power band. It's nice because you don't have to fiddle with the damn gears just to get them in the right band. Although you will when you go downhill, though. That's. Four wheeler spin in the right. Side. I like Cummins, but I prefer a cat. Yeah, I wish they still made engines for these trucks, though. Cats are really nice. Yeah, give me a mechanical 436. Fucking, that's it, boy. Fucking, fuck this. I really wish they. Uh, <laughs> the whole reason behind those engines is they they see, didn't meet emissions. See that road right there, Rice? Yeah. That'll bring you up right where one of the intersections that we just came out of. Up on top of the hill. Right <laughs> there. Oh wow. 84. Oh man, we're going to 84 now. Yes, sir. This is gonna get fun. Right, wait, wait till you find out where we're gonna come back out. Oh my God. <laughs> is it right out from where we were? What? No. I mean, we're we're on the other side of Waterbury now. Oh, wow. But you know the you know where the truck stop is? I showed where the truck stop is. No, you're kidding. And, and then you got the big hill that goes yeah. up. That's where we're gonna come out on top of that big hill. Oh my and then we're going to go down the hill and then get on 691. <laughs> oh my god, and we're doing it again. Wait, why are we avoiding 84 again? Or because they not, now they don't want you going through Hartford. Why? They don't want you going through Hartford. Oh wait, it's Hartford. Probably, they probably don't want, with this way, they don't want you going over the bridges on the Connecticut River. Yeah, that's... You know? Yeah. Now, the Charter Road Bridge is a new bridge that was recently built. Yeah. Here we go. This guy is damn good. Looking good.
The cops got the ramps blocked. Are they blocking off traffic? Yeah, we're good. Half miles to the bottom. 691 East. Working up when he can. That's everything he's got. Right there. There we go. No, they just got people who weren't anyway. Where'd all the traffic go? Fucking bad, man. It's 10 30. <laughs> it is? Oh my god. <laughs> We ain't even out of Connecticut yet. <laughs> oh my god, here's the challenger. There he is. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. They have actual markings in their cars. Some of them do, some of them don't. Okay, but yes, I was about they, to say. They have, uh, I know they got two pickup trucks, they got tinted windows. There's a brown one and a, a black one. I know they have, uh, I've seen the Monte Carlos, there was one the other day that showed up. I know they have those. Okay, I was about to say because I've know. seen them with the uh, with the grayed out cars. I've never really seen them with uh, with those. Okay, like yeah, I've seen them with the gray suburban things. You know. Yeah, they're very weird about this stuff here. A lot of times we'll meet wide loads here. I'll get a call from a broker. Yeah, the driver's sitting up at the rest area just over the state line. Well, you get your information, you come up, you fucking meet the driver, you know, at fucking 8 o'clock in the morning. At 9 o'clock, you're down the fucking road. Yeah. Or whatever time they tell you to be here. This place gets jammed. Yeah, it's already jammed. Especially out front. Out front, it's supposed to be cars only. And there's semis everywhere. See any wide loads in there? Oh, uh, no, not that I can see. A lot of times they tell you, you know, a lot of times they uh, they know there's the old way station up here. There he is. There's our escorts. Yep. Mass State Police. <laughs> it's so cool. They just changed they off. Here they come. So we only got two for the Mass State Police. Yeah, that's probably all we need. It's awesome. Sweet. Sounds like they're ready to go. Here comes the mascots. It's in Connecticut, you might be able to get away with it. Let me and I I'll try to explain it to you. In Connecticut, <coughs> you can only be eighty thousand pounds on five axles. Okay. That's standard. Might be at the end. Looks like. Okay. Looks mm -hmm. like the cops. Um. Uh, in Massachusetts, on three axles in the rear, you can be 110 legally. Really? Yes. Gross. That's really pushing it, though. That 
that last you 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 know because the yeah so that's pushing it no well, not really but i used to come up to rumford maine at 98 110 113 on five axles yeah, go ahead. See you later. Bye now. You're going to give me the slips. This guy makes me nervous. What, the one that's been following us this entire time? Yeah, it just makes me a lot better to fucking, you know, when he's down the fucking road, you know? I know he's fucking not stupid, but... Alright, he's backing off. I don't care what he's doing. I don't want him to leave. Bye now. Drain a vein. Now's the time. Yeah. This is a rest area? It's a way station. It's an old way station. But right now they're using it to uh right now they're using it as a maintenance area. Huh. Yeah. Well, I'm going to show it to my father. He used to escort me with this shit all over the country. Wow. Brick out here, man. <laughs> 